Hello. In an earlier video, I talked about beats and coincident partials in a piano note, and I wanted to just do a part two of that this time. Um, this is the uh, spectrogram view uh, in the software RX4. Probably any, uh, there's probably several different types of software that do spectrograms. This is just the one I happen to, to have. Um, this time we're going to listen to an F3 to A3 um, major third. And just to show um, that on the keyboard, um, yeah, F3, A3, there to there. And let's just listen to what that sounds like. So I don't know how well you can hear that on YouTube, but um, there, between the F and the A, there's a coincident partial at this upper A. I think it's A5 at 880 hertz, and it's right here in the spectrogram. Just a little bit about uh, a review of what the spectrogram is. This is time on the x-axis and frequency on the y-axis. And each of these lines is one of the partials of the note it's F or A. Um, okay, so let's just listen to, let's highlight just the, the beating frequency around 880 hertz and listen to just that. So that's the beat that you hear, that, that piano tuners listen for when they hear this. Okay, and last time, on one of my earlier videos, I looked at the, the spectrum analyzer view, and if you watch around 880 hertz, you'll see it bouncing up and down where, where the beats happen. Right here. So, and last time I, I tried to count those beats and then determine the beat rate from that. But it's really hard to count like that, so a way that I like a lot better is using the spectrogram view. You can actually see these little indentations here in the line, and those are the beats. Um, if I highlight one second of this, uh, I'll start at 0.5 seconds and go to 1.5. Okay. And now I can drag this over to position it right at the start of one of the beats. And I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost exactly seven beats per second. And as piano tuners know, the F3 to A3 is supposed to be tuned in theory at seven beats per second. So when I tuned this, that's what I was going for. And it looks like I did a pretty good job. Um, I also want to mention that. I tuned only one string of each note. I, I muted off the extra strings, so we're listening to only one string of the F and one string of the A instead of all three strings of the of the unison. <clears throat> that was I did that just uh, in case the unison wasn't tuned perfectly. We won't get some extra stuff in here in the spectrogram that that interferes with what I was wanting to talk about. Um, Another thing, that just uh, this is a stereo recording, so left and right, um, we'll just be looking at one, one of these. So you can just ignore this part up here. Um, so, in no piano tuner would count beats this way. Any decent piano tuner is going to be able to just hear them and tune the piano that way. But as a student of piano tuning, I found this to be really helpful in uh, learning to count beats and, and confirming whether I'm judging seven beats per second correctly or not. And if somebody wanted to, they could, they could play all the contiguous major thirds, look at it in here, and come up with, do the math and figure out exactly what beat rate you should get to get them to progress evenly, and check it in here, and you could come up with a, a perfectly evenly progressing temperament if you wanted to take the time 
to do it and check it this way. It'd be interesting to see um, if the greatest piano tuner in the world tuned the temperament orally, and then we checked it in here to see how, how precise it was. Um, so just a couple of other things to mention about this. Uh, you can see that there are beats at higher frequencies too. You don't necessarily hear them, but up here this is about, what is that, uh, 1780 hertz or so. And if we were to highlight that and just listen to that part, it's much harder to hear that one when you're listening to the, to the full sound. I can't hear it when I listen to the, the whole thing. But, um, yeah, and even way up here, we've got some more beating. What's that? Two, above 2.5 kilohertz. Okay. So, um, yeah, these aren't really audible when you listen to the, to the note, but it's um, interesting to see that they're there. So that's all for this time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, I mean. <laughs>